Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're here to showcase some Shadow Cell tier 4. You have seen me fail doing here tier 4, I managed to tier 4 here finally, couple of days now and I was recording the tries I was doing for a Nobelisk and for a Mighty Rage I end up having on here, testing here on ABL, ABX and World Boss Legend multiple world boss legends basically it's from Null, Ultron and Gore uh, with Proc and Obelisk or CDP of Rage, Mighty CDP of Rage basically and the same for ABL. For ABX and for some uh, world boss legend I just test here with Mighty Rage and in the same time I wish I could do some content for Thanos because he is like the new uniform and everyone is waiting for that but as you can see I stacked on 65% of potentials and it's 8th day so in 8 days I managed to have like uh, the minimum I mean I think this is the minimum basically it's 7 days so it's not the minimum I could have 56% but as it seems I have 65 so I was lucky getting 8% plus only once. That's really unlucky, by the way. And let me show you the build I have right now on my Shadow Cell. She's missing some critical rate. I have two uh, normal uh, Urus, as you can see, just to cap my critical rate and critical damage because with Odin's Blessing I couldn't figure this out. And I have like a lot of Odin's Blessing. The runs are not all with the same build, uh, so in the start I had like less audience blessing but doesn't really matter. And yes, before we go, uh, before I say even more, I'm rank 71 as you can see, I overbuilt here. I saw that I was close in the high ranking of 100 and I put more audience blessing just for the ranking. I'm not sure why I did that but yes, I did it. So yeah, before we go into the gameplay, I want you to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, smash the like button and let me know down below in the comments what are you using for ABL and ABX as a speed type. Do you use Suri as I was doing or Kamala? Pretty much they're both the same. Suri got a minor advantage against, you know, Kamala, but in the same time they're the two best uh, normal uh, speed types except Luna, also Luna is really good but the rest are tier 4s like Shadow Cell or Black Widow so let me know down below in the comments what are you using for this day and what's your score basically, you know what, what's your score too so let's start with uh, the easiest world boss I could participate and I am with an obelisk here and if you have an obelisk you pretty much want to do 3 cancel, 4 cancel, 5 every single time and if you have your awaken skill start with your awaken skill. Your awaken skill is not providing you any extra damage, it's pretty much just for the buffs and as you can see you have to drop it every single time you got it ready to go. And with a Nobelisk you want to be really specific on when you're using your skills, you know, you don't want to use your uh, proc on your second or your, your first skill, you want to proc every single time on your fifth skill. And as you can see, I can manage to do that, so everyone can manage to do that, uh, you know, I, I believe in you. It's really easy, there are not extra hits that you're getting with doing 3 cancel, 4 cancel, 5, you need to do really fast and you can do it easy peasy. Here I missed some damage because the boss pre uh, jumped, I should wait and as you can see I'm using as a striker Iron Man there, I'm not sure why but that's what I figure out there from the justice uh, instinct you know. Uh, you can see that my first skill, it's my favorite you know, helps you positioning your character every single time, gives you an advantage of uh, you know, uh, speed, a lot of speed type, you're boosting your character, run fast and you're also invisible so the boss can't really target you while you're in your first skill and as you can see here I can boost like 100 seconds uh, of course it's not the stage that uh, you need to do that uh, but look at, look at this, even when he's doing his uh, thing, you know you're invisible so you can do your skills and I managed to do 100 seconds, it is stage 55 but I was with a Nobelisk 
So yeah, of course, it's a tier four characters and I had uh, both, you know, support and leadership, leadership of Seahawk and support of Wave. And I was able to pull out the stage with 100 seconds, easy peasy. So C is proc friendly, 100%. And as I had the obelisk up, I wanted to do even more tests. So it was the first time I was trying say 60 of Ultron because I just passed through with my carnage, you know, remember that I unequipped the raids from him. And because I unequipped the raids from him, it was the last time I was using him for stage 59 of Ultron requirements, the challenges you have to do. And it was first time that I could uh, do, you know, stage 60. And I was like, you know what, let's try to see if she's able to pull this out. And guess what? She was. She was able to do Ultron stage 60 with an obelisk. I've seen her doing crazy stuff with uh, le even level 80 and the CDP of energy or a CDP of judgment. But I, you know, it's just an obelisk. It's just a poison damage obelisk I was using back there. And of course, you can't really see the obelisk now, I'm thinking. But I think like in the end of the run, I kept uh, the build, you know, I went into the build to show you that... Uh, to showcase, you know, what kind of obelisk was it, and it was like 30% poison damage and 200% proc, if I remember right, I'm gonna show you right after, and I'm already 1 minute and 10 seconds into the stage, I didn't manage to interrupt the optimization phase, but I smacked at their, uh, a rotation for 3 to 4 bars, you can see the damage is really sweet, Suri also is a good runner, so Suri or Wave basically, Wave is really fast too. And yes, yeah, you can see there, look at this girl, she's flying through. She's really fast, you want always to swap into Wave to run around. And here is, okay, I started with 15 bar and I did like 2 to 3 bars. I guess my proc was kind of late. But uh, yes, here, look at this, two to three bars, every single rotation, it's really sweet for Ultron, you know, if you consider that he has like 30 bars in total, doing two to three bars every single rotation, it's like 10 rotations, 11 rotations successfully, and you have done the stage, bro. And that's really nice, look at this, there is two minutes and 50 seconds left, with just a obelisk, and let me show you what she was able to do with a mighty raid on world boss legend uh, on this exact the same world boss legend but this time it's not stage 60 it says 61 but yes let's go and figure out uh, how fast i'm gonna end up doing this i swapped here just to be sure that i'm not going to die from any purple attack and you know maintain my mental health okay here i failed miserably because he moved out of my rotation he moved out on my fifth skill so i wasn't able to do anything and in the end i just waste my awaken there uh let's see now i'm swapping into here and yeah here I'm struggling, I need one more rotation, in the end his defenses I feel like is going up, but look at this, 1 minute and 50 seconds left, stage 60, trying this for the very first time, it's the first, really, uh, I'm gonna get the first clear reward I think here, and yes, first clear reward, a 5 star uh, Ultron to reroll my other 5 stars, of course, You're, you don't want to put this on your character, uh, but let me show you the build I had right then and yes, that's the that's how I clear at the moment now and uh, Ultron stage 60 with just a obelisk, right? And let's go now to see what I was able to do in the same world boss legend with a mighty raids this time It's one stage more, it's stage 61 uh, But you know, it was uh, day by day progressing through the world boss legend and I was trying to pull out, uh, to push more, basically, my uh, 
my progress on the world boss legend so this is the first time i'm clearing stage 61 also and i want you to see something here you know uh there, there is people using shadow cell with a judgment and an energy just to focus on world boss legend and they are avoiding using mighty raids because of that and i know that raid supposed to be worst for world boss legend but I, I want to do my own test you know because a proking obelisk with poison damage and 200 proc it's pretty similar to an energy on the output it's performing you know because the chain hit damage it's equal pretty much with the uh with the pierce that you're getting for an energy uh basically the chain hit damage you're getting from an energy it's really similar to the obelisk's elemental damage you know if you're able to do to have a 33% poison damage obelisk it's pretty equal to the 30 or 25% chain hit damage they they look like you know perhaps elemental damage got an advantage also but yes you if you can't proc you know energy and mighty mighty energy and mighty destruction are always good good choices but i chose to go for a mighty raid just to show you the difference for Mighty Raids in World Boss Legend and in the same time everyone knows that Mighty Raids is the best CTP for ABX and ABL which is the game modes I built uh, Shadow Cell for, you know I focused on Shadow Cell just for ABL mostly basically because at ABX I knew that the character is not performing that well uh, like a Black Widow let's say, you know there is people with Suri uh, able to cap for ABX and do 6 million on ABL but I'm not that dude, I was doing with my Suri 10.5 maximum on ABX and I was doing like 5 million maximum on ABL and 10.5 on ABX, sorry so yes, let's see here the difference between the diamonds previously I managed to do with 1 minute and uh, 1 minute and 50 seconds left, let's see here, I am already 1 minute earlier and yes, let's swap here, let's go into Suri and I think in the end I swap again into Wave and Mighty Raids, I feel like it's pretty similar with just an obelisk, you know with Mighty Raids, you don't want to do the, exactly the same rotation that we are doing with uh, the Obelisk. You want to start with your first skill and with your second skill just to charge faster your Mighty uh, Raids proc, you know. There is a bar that it's charging through the skills you are doing. It's not like the movement speed, Mighty Energy or Mighty Judgment are charging or Mighty Destruction basically. Uh, Mighty Rage has, uh, you know, the uniqueness of charging when you're doing hits. So that's why you want to have your Shadow Cell every single time charge up uh, for her Mighty for her Mighty Rage. You know, that's why you're using her first and your second skill in the start, so you can start uh, charging your Mighty Energy and enable the CDP of Rage before you do your combo, which is exactly the same again. Three cancel, four cancel, five. And yes, as you can see, the damage was worse. The obelisk performed better than a mighty raids. Uh, of course, it stayed 60 against 61, but it's a mighty raids against an obelisk, right? It's really, it's really. I, I was here, I was listening to people uh, saying that mighty raids is not that good for world boss legend and an energy or a judgment could be better and as it seems here it's true you know if with a proking obelisk you can do the same damage with mighty raids that feels like you didn't get any uh really you know any any faster there it's like exactly the same and let's go now back to the obelisk and let's see what she's able to pull out on ABL with an obelisk, you know. Uh, I know that, that people that is playing ABL and they are going to build tier 4 Shadow Cell, they are not gonna let her with an obelisk, you know. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Mighty Destruction or Mighty Energy could have similar results. My Mighty Judgment also has uh, low damage back there. But yeah, let's see what she's able to pull out here, uh, having only to do your proper rotation, you know, of 3, cancel 4, cancel 5, and you can't really spam your other skills just to charge your 
uh, mighty raids or charge your tier 4 faster and you can see here I'm I'm into the proc really nice I'm not losing any and I need to go for the blob here the purple one yes I did it uh, 2 million here almost and there is two minutes left it's not a big deal but the fact that she's able to pull this out with a nobelist you know you should consider that if you want to build here and you don't have a raid you need to know that she's performing really nice even with just a nobelist and here you know it's not the perfect timing for me uh, I would I would go for the, t the my awaken skill and generally yes I figure out the rotation after couple of days having the character and this is uh, like the first days I had the character because I had the obelisk and I had to do all this stuff but uh, for your own information if you want to use your tier 4 skill you need to do your tier 4 skill exactly before your 3 cancel for cancel 5 because your tier 3 skill your tier 4 skills it's when you do it to get extra damage through it you need to do to cast three different skills right after in the moment that you're casting three skills after you cast your tier 4 skill you're getting a 60 a 75 percent buff and it's 25 percent for each skill you're using and it's for five seconds with a maximum uh of 75 percent you can stack up like three times so when you're using your uh, awaken skill if you don't use any skill right after it's like you're you're getting the minimum damage you know it's only 25 percent uh damage or something perhaps not even this 25 percent but yeah uh so you want to use your tier 4 exactly before your combo 3 cancel 4 cancel 5 and I figured this out after with my Mighty Raids run. So the Obelisk run has the disadvantage, me not uh, know a lot the character, you know. It was like the first days, as I told you. But I managed to do 5 million, which in my book, you know, if you don't have to spend a raid and you are able to do 5.2, that means that with an energy or with a Mighty Destruction or a Mighty Energy, or a mighty judgment you could do six million here easy peasy i did it with a nobelist so let's go now to see what i was able to pull out with a mighty raid and you know uh, the main reason i built the character was to have like nine million like eight million on abl i was looking to people's like pedro z aids you know and others basically free to play adventures a lot of people other youtubers that they were, they were able to do 8 and 9 million with their shadow cell with similar builds you know uh, i was looking just the brilliant rage and i was like you know what perhaps i'm gonna do half a million re less or something and you saw there my physical attack when i start showcasing my build was like 73,000 physical attack but my physical attack here it was before i put all this other blessing i had like 70 percent so you have to consider that this run is with a mighty raid a uh, couple of odin's blessing but 70,000 per uh, 70,000 physical attack so uh yes keep uh, keep that on your mind and the runs i was looking at abl uh, as they seemed it wasn't from here you can see i learned that I learned that I need to use my tier 4 first and after do my combo so I'm having more uh, stack on my uh, you know on my combo there 3 cancel 4 cancel 5 here I did cheat on the tier 4 I didn't use it proper but just because my mighty uh, my Odin's mighty Odin's might buff basically uh, was about to go away and yes here 4 million already and we are in the middle of the fight as you can see i learned it later on because uh, i yesterday did cup for first time for gene but you need to be here like 70 million basically like 7 million if you wanna end up capping 10 million uh so yes there's no way i'm going to cap here or do anything close to 9 million as you're figuring out already um yes it wasn't a false advertisement 
but in my opinion to do you know 9 million or 8 million with your shadow cell it's really hard you need to have really good build and the people that I was watching on the YouTube uh, doing this 9 millions and 8 millions when I did fail that miserably doing 9 million or 8 million I was like you know what something is off let's go and check their builds and if you go and check the people that doing 8 and 9 million with a uh, Sadu cell on ABL their physical attacks starts with 9 so I had like 70,000 and these people had like 93,000 99,000 97,000 I saw their cards and they were insane I mean my physical attack is no more than 120 120 percent on my cards but still you know i was expecting to do more but i end up just copying for the at least i'm getting other rewards now because i'm doing more than six million but i felt like i was cheated you know uh, i was deceived seeing the videos for nine million i felt like my own uh, viewers you know you're a viewer you're seeing a guy doing something you're trying yourself and you're failing miserable so I was watching the people doing a build calls on 9 million 8 million and I managed to do 6.3 million only with my stats and these same people was doing like 11 million 10.5 million on ABX and they were saying that uh, they are not able to do 12 million with shadow cell and I was like oh my god if there is no if the other guys can't really cap with uh, can cap you know with shadow cell on ABL and they can't cap on ABX you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do like uh, 9 million with my shadow cell what's going to happen but as it seems for ABX at least you know um my damage okay let's fast forward also my video is getting too long but as you can see i have done like 9.2 here and i end up doing 10 point something i can't really remember but let's check this out uh 10.2 uh, no 10.1 10.2 and it's 10.3 hardly yes 10.3 let's say and I was able to pull out 10.3. I was watching, I was listening to people saying that you can't really do 12 million with Sadu Cell. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to test it myself. But as it seems, they were right. So overall, I feel like, um, I, I don't feel like I was deceived, you know, from the other content creators or something. But uh, yes, I feel like I'm doing less than I thought with Sadu Cell for ABL. I'm doing like similar uh, with, with what I was pulling out with Suri. With Suri, I was doing 10.4, 10.5, 10 10.3 on my ABX days, but I have practiced way more with my Suri, of course. But also there are people doing 6 million with Suri on ABL. So I'm not a perfect example of the output of the characters I have or others have, but yes. In the end of the day, I'm totally cool with the you know with the pick I did with Sadu Cell because I can now easy as you saw 6.3 ABL uh, cap there. It's easy peasy, and of course my score is going to increase as I'm getting used to the character. But you know the others had like 95% physical, 95,000 physical attack. But as you can see, my cards don't follow these numbers i can't really go that far i have like 107 107 percent physical attack so uh i'm lacking a bit i need some more to go and have even more you know output on the physical attackers but yes i did whatever i could do with my audience blessing and with my build in general i bought here artifact also on the last talking event and i'm totally cool with the character at the moment because it see helps me also with the same build progressing through the world boss uh legend that she's able to participate as you saw there i was progressing i'm progressing basically uh until stage 64 of uh, ultron with her and in the same time i haven't the opportunity to test her here or see if she can do because Jean wasn't the boss of the day and I didn't have the time to record something, uh, you know, after that. 
and here I couldn't use her for Mephisto I think after that it's against combat yes it's combat and for gore I was using here I did use her basically to check her out for stage 40 of gore also and yes I, I was able to do that with a mighty judgment as a level 80 also I couldn't really remember the timing so there's not that much value on this stage for in my opinion you know if you don't know how, what she was able to do previously you just think that I was able to do it with two minutes left at stage 40 of gore which is hard for some people not hard for others yeah, I am at stage 59 at the moment progressing through this one and yes generally I feel totally cool with my Sally you know Sadu Cell it's really there and it is going to increase your value as the as I'm getting used to the character for GBR yeah no big and uh, no I don't feel like she is good for GBR at all. I'm not using her at all. I had done some tries with a raid back there when she showcased into the game as a level 80, and that was pretty disappointment. So yes, I'm not using her anymore. Uh, generally, I feel really cool with her. I I was expecting a bit more on the numbers, but as it seems, it was my bad gameplay also and my bad stats on physical attack. So yes. I hope you enjoyed, I hope I make you build here or not build here, give here a raid or keep a proc, do energy or mighty destruction, whatever, she feels like she can do everything with any, uh, with any obelisks. So yeah, that was it, see you into the next, kisses in your faces!